a conversation with Takuya Onosan about Buddhism and board games on this episode of Board Game Faith, the bi-weekly podcast exploring the intersection of board games, spirituality, and religion. My name is Daniel Hilty. And my name is Kevin Taylor. And then Takuya Ono from Japan. And Yay. Welcome. Amazing. <laughs> welcome, Takuya Ono san. We are so grateful to have you here with us today. We you are um it is where you are, it is um the morning, right? It is morning, yeah, about nine o'clock. Nine o'clock, okay, <laughs> okay. We, it is still it is still evening here. The day is coming to an end, but I'm. It makes me happy and hopeful to know that the world is ha, is beginning a new day somewhere else, somewhere in Japan. That's great. <laughs> well, we are very grateful to have Onosan joining us today for a very special episode. And uh, Onosan, if you wouldn't mind, please just just telling us a little bit about yourself, please. Where are you? Where are you from? And what your life has has been like? Please. Yeah. So. I prepared uh, some sentences uh, for the, to introduce myself. So I must begin with the particular circumstances of Japanese Buddhism. Japanese Buddhism is an extremely secularized. Buddhist monks uh, traditionally used to abandon their family and house and couldn't have families. However, Japanese monks have been able to marry and have families since the Meiji period, Meiji period mm -hmm. from 1868. Yeah. Before that time, it was controlled by shogunate, but the Meiji government's modernization policy liberalized it. Therefore, my family has lived in a temple since my great grandfather's generation. Wow. And I was also raised in a temple. Therefore, I'm from the temple where I'm living now. <laughs> That's amazing. Since, yeah, since my father didn't succeed my grandfather as a temple master, I became the temple master when I was 24 years old after my grandfather passed away. A few years later, I got married. And my family lives also in the temple. Yeah, that's a situ my situation. <laughs> Thank you very much. That's so interesting. What is it like to live in the same place where you work? Where, where, what is it like to spend all of your time in the same place like that? And where your family has been for generations? Uh -huh. um, I don't think you, uh, what you imagine <laughs> the temple, but the temple uh, is a, a like old building, yes, and next to the old building, uh, I will live. Oh, okay, okay, yeah, okay. So, so you're you get to 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 go to the other building at at in the evening when to sleep and to to be with your family, and then you go next you go to the other building for the temple. Okay, 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 great. Kevin, I know you had you had expressed a special interest in in what the role of the temple master involved. Is that right, Kevin? You were, you were wondering about right, that as well. Right. So what is, yeah. So what are some of your duties? What do you do at the temple? Every morning I offer food and water to the Buddha, worship and chanting sutras, uh, Buddhist scriptures. When a parishioner, uh, you know, parishioner? Mm -hmm. Yes, uh, yeah, we call, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you, we call Danka-san. Yeah. Parishioner dies. I conduct the funeral ceremony, like today, mm -hmm. from now. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> uh, followed by memorial services on the seventh day after death, also 46th day, the first anniversary, the second anniversary, oh. up to, up to hundreds. Adversary. <laughs> so, in addition, uh, some priests work as uh, teachers or company employees. I teach at a junior college, uh, preaching at lectures, write articles, 
for newspaper and magazines, mainly on board games, <laughs> <laughs> and teach board games at elementary schools. When I'm not working, I spend my free time sitting in front of my computer, collecting information on board games <laughs> and, <laughs> and translating a board game rule books, mainly from German into oh Japanese. Goodness. Japanese. The uh, building blocks of tabletop games design, you know, uh, a book yeah? okay. written in English oh, yes. uh, was, tra yeah, was translated and published at a time when I was really out and about in the corona disaster. <laughs> yeah. That's my duty and uh, <laughs> half my hobby. Yes. Mm. It, it's, it's very good when duties good. and hobbies can, can come together. That's a good thing. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so you know Japanese, German, and English. That's amazing. Yes, yes. Ich spiele, ich uh, Deutsch. Yeah. Uh, what is board game culture like in Japan? Are there cafes, stores? How many people are playing? Culture, yes. Japanese board game culture is spreading. Uh, first, it's, you know, uh, at East Japan, uh, earthquake disaster in 20, yeah. The, uh, the atomic, uh, the power grid has a had accident mm -hmm. and we couldn't uh, go out uh, from, uh, house and, and the power, uh, electric power is shut down. And so we must stay home at that time. Uh, that is, uh, uh 12 years ago, 12 years ago. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. Uh, uh, we had to stay home. And that time, the board game culture was spreading. Yeah, first. And after that, the corona disaster, uh, the same situation mm -hmm. uh, came out. Mm -hmm. And we uh, also uh, must, we had to stay at, at home. And uh, again, the board game culture, and, uh, uh, playing uh, with families has uh, started. The, and uh, uh, board game cafes here. Yes. Uh, it's a, uh, spreading in about 2015. Uh, so uh, after several years later uh, from after the uh, earthquake, mm -hmm. the, and now, uh, the 200, uh, that about 300, uh, board game cafes in Japan, really? mainly, mainly in Tokyo and Osaka. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. I would, that's, that's a lot. That's wonderful. It is, so is that how you became interested in board games too? Is that at the time of the earthquake as well? Or were you interested in board games before then? Before then. Okay. okay. <laughs> yeah. Uh, when I was university student, I lived in dormitory and had to no money, but plenty of time. <laughs> <laughs> that is when I started playing backgammon first and other games with my mates. Yes. Yeah? Mm -hmm. It was a lot of fun and my friends liked it uh, so much that I started going out to buy new board games and <laughs> A little, little more, <laughs> and that's how I came across Catan. Mm. I used to gather my friends and play all night, mm. and sometimes I missed class because I couldn't get up it the next day. <laughs> <laughs> it was because of Catan. <laughs> yes, yes. That's amazing. <laughs> when you were at university and playing games with your friends, did you know at that time that you were going to become the temple master? No, not yet. Okay. okay. Yeah, uh, be, uh, but I uh, studied Buddhism and Indian philosophy. Mm -hmm. So uh, that it's connected to my uh, career. Yes, yeah. yes. Mm -hmm. And uh, are there board games being played at your temple then? You say you play at schools. Is it part yes, of the temples. life of your temple as well? 
Yes, it's a difficult to say. I play board games with my friends. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Mm. yeah, it's not uh, pilgrims and parishioners. Oh, okay. <laughs> yes. But since you live at the temple or at, there at the temple, they come to the temple and play board games with you there. Yes, yes, Neat. my friends. Neat, your friends. <laughs> That's great. That's great. Uh, we have regular gatherings of friends to play board games. They are not pilgrims or parishioners, but pure board game friends. Uh -huh. We used to have an overnight evening event, uh, but that was also a gathering of board game enthusiasts, mm -hmm. not pious Buddhists. <laughs> 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 but but uh, I don't think that is a problem. Temples should be open their doors to society more now. Uh, if temples only accept deeply religious people, they will eventually stop attracting people. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If anyone feels free to visit the temple uh, and just enjoy uh, the atmosphere, uh, years or decades later, it may become a place where people can find comfort. Mm. I'd like to take a long view. Mm -hmm. I, I like love that. that. A long view. So what you do now to help people feel comfortable at the temple or, or engaged with the temple, um, sow seeds that can grow into uh, good things generations from now, decades from now, when people uh, would, would, would be much more interested, yeah, can be interested in, in the life of the temple. It's wonderful. That's wonderful. Mm. We talk on this show sometimes. So Kevin and I come from the, from the Christian tradition. Uh, we've had guests who come from the Jewish tradition or, or, or Muslim. And we'll say sometimes, um, other religious people in our traditions, they'll find out that we like board games so much and, and they will become suspicious and they will say, Hmm, I'm not sure about, about being religious and playing board games at the same time that they, and, and do you ever encounter that among, among it, within the religious Buddhist community there in, in Japan, people who are kind of a little suspicious of playing board games? Yeah, no problem. Yeah. Uh, because that, so, uh, before I said, uh, the Japanese Buddhists is extremely secularized, the, the priests, uh, playing a guitar, mm -hmm. <laughs> they are going Con have a concert and uh, some uh, artists. Yeah, so that's great. it's a board game is uh, one of them. That's them. great. Do you think it's good that Buddhism in Japan is secular, or do you think it's a problem? Yes. Well, we are uh, less <laughs> less respected <laughs> really? because we that all, almost the same as uh, usually. Uh -huh. Uh, normal people. <laughs> Not really a, a, a sense of a lot of difference between between uh, between the temple and maybe outside the temple. And, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so, and what what is religious life like in Japan? Because you have Buddhism, just... you have some Christianity, you have Shinto yes. still, or Shinto. Yes, you know. Oh, so we, our religion is quite mixed, yeah, culture, uh, Buddhist, and Buddhist, and uh, Shinto, and Christianity also. Uh, so, for example, uh, at uh, January 1st, people go to shrine yeah, the, the, uh, for the beginning of the year uh, to pray uh, and so marriage, so, uh, so they invite some uh, Christian uh, pastor or uh, uh, some uh, priest of uh, Christianity at a, and uh, held in church. <laughs> mm. And at the funeral, they mm. come to a temple. <laughs> oh, yes. Okay. <laughs> so that's mixed. Oh, so, yeah. mix it, really. so marriage is Christian marriage. and funeral is, is Buddhist. <laughs> Yes, yes. Oh my gosh, that's that great. is very that's great. Yeah, I didn't. It's interesting. It sounds like you do. You spend a fair amount of time doing funerals. Is that right? 
Exactly. <laughs> My main work is funeral. Wow. No, no marriage. Yes. <laughs> Our listeners may not have may not know. Right before this, we started recording. You, uh, you were sharing with us that you have to, to actually get to a funeral shortly after this recording. So we're grateful for your making time to be with us. Um, we know it's a busy day for you. Where are some places where you see board games and Buddhism um, coming together? Um, um, are, are there ways that um, board games can teach something about Buddhism, perhaps, or can can reinforce something about Buddhism? Or do you see any overlap between those two? Maybe, yeah. Uh, historically, uh, there was times when monks became Go masters. You know Go? Yes, yes. Go Japanese traditional mm, board game. Yes. Yeah. The monks uh, became the master. Even today, they are known as Hong In Bo, uh, the title of Go master. Huh. Yeah. Hong In Bo is uh, was the name of uh, the famous priest, uh, Go master. Uh, there are also many monks who enjoy playing shogi, Japanese chess, yes. with maybe uh, between pre among priests or uh, with uh, parishioners. Yes. Uh, in addition, a dice race game like Snake and Ladders, in which players mm. start from India and aim to become a Buddha. <laughs> yeah. Right. That's, uh, that's, uh, uh, dice race game. Interesting. Yeah? Uh, called, called Jodo Sugoroku. Jodo uh, means pure land. Buddhism, want to right. go after death. Yeah. And Sugoroku means dice race game. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So the dice race game for pure land. <laughs> That's J Jodo Sugoroku. Yeah. To, yeah, that was in the 17th and 18th century. Mm -hmm. Yeah. As a parade. Mm -hmm. And uh, wow. help to spread the Buddhist world view uh, to general public uh, during the seventies uh, uh, to nineteenth century. Yeah. Interesting. Uh, in addition, uh, dice gambling games, which were banned by the uh, shogunate during the Edo period, were played at temples. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> because. <laughs> Which uh, because uh, the temple were extra extra territorial. Okay. Right. Yes. Yes. Right. Yeah. From a shogunate. <laughs> Funny. <laughs> so if you want to play some yes, games, and, uh, go to the temple. Yes. And the, <laughs> yes, play with some yes. dice. That's great. That, yes. that happened. Gambling. In, that happened in America the... with prohibition. You know, mm -hmm. when we banned alcohol, but it was okay in church. So there was same some thing. I had the same for communion, same situation. People would go in and drink <laughs> the wine. Yes. <laughs> yes. And the uh, profits made uh, from the gambling, mm. yeah, the, the named temple coins, a uh, place money, yeah, uh, were donated to the temple. Really? <laughs> right. Yes. Oh, I think we should try that in church, Kevin. Yeah. Yeah, I like that. That's a good idea. <laughs> no, no, not good idea. <laughs> I'm, I'm just joking. Good I'm idea. just joking. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yes. Uh, yeah. So, um, and, and go ahead, Kevin. But, but, yeah, uh, yes. Uh, uh, let me continue. Yes, please, please. Uh, oh, sorry. Oh, uh, on the other hand, gambling and even playing go and shogi were sometimes forbidden uh, because they were considered to be obstacles to Buddhist practice. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The only reason why games were allowed was uh, that Buddhist temple had a school uh, function and games were used for children's education. Okay, yeah. okay. For lighting and uh, curriculating. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Makes sense. That is, uh, then that is allowed. Here. Why, why was Buddhism, why was it an obstacle to Buddhism? games and uh, fighting uh, why so why so usually the buddhist practice as meditation we need a long time meditation and uh, people must uh, be a calm uh, mind during meditation uh, so the gaming gaming or uh, fighting and and there are also some activities uh, prevent uh, to 
be calm in mind. Eh? Mm-hmm. Yeah. That is uh, the obstacle. You, you had mentioned that um, some of the monks long ago were uh, were go masters, and and do you know what what lessons about Buddhism they found in Go? What did they? Why was Go important to them? What did they learn from Go? The, the, at the Heian period, Heian period, the, uh, for, uh, before the 10th century, uh, among aristocrats, uh, the ego, Go, and some uh, uh, culture, gaming culture, was uh, there. Was there. So okay. the priests yeah, were involved uh, to that culture. That's why, yeah, they became master. I think that the go itself is, has no connection to Buddhism, okay. I think. Okay. And what are some of your favorite board games? I like middle class Euro games, around 60 minutes. Yes. And co- communication games that everyone can play and talk together, know each other. I also play gamers games as I'm a member of the International Gamers Award. Oh, neat. Yeah. Last year's grand prize uh, winner of uh, International Gamers Award, Carnegie. Yes. Uh, is my favorite games <laughs> too. That's, That's a great game. game. Yeah. Yeah. My other favorites are Boon Lake and Ark Nova. Oh, yes. Uh, but Boon Lake, yeah. I buy new games one after one. Uh, I buy new games one after another. <laughs> so I, <laughs> I don't have time to play many times. <laughs> yeah, it's a problem. <laughs> I don't know what you mean. <laughs> that, that, unites, that unites us across the world. <laughs> same as you. Yes, yeah? Yeah, same okay. as us. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> not me, of course. Daniel, not me. <laughs> it's just me, not, not Kevin. Perfect. Besides this, uh, there are many Japanese board games. At Game Market Tokyo, mm-hmm. Japan's biggest board game event held twice a year. Many publishers, amateur groups, uh, sell more than 500 new original board games. Mm-hmm. Some games such as Love Letter, Machikoro, and Scout uh, have been exported overseas and gained popularity. Of course, I play Japanese games so much that I don't have enough time to play them. I tried Scout. Actually, we we bought Scout for the very. Uh, um, my wife gave me Scout for my birthday, which was about a, a month ago, and I've been playing that a lot. And I, that's a great game. I love Scout. Um, and I think that's Oink Publishers, which is which is a Japanese game publishing company. I've heard the Tokyo game market is a, a, an amazing event. The, there must be a lot of fun to go. Please visit. Yeah. I can imagine. <laughs> At uh, Tokyo game market, main board games uh, uh, pu- presented, pu- published it at, uh, at uh, Tokyo game markets. Uh, mainly uh, is, uh, takes a short time, uh, to 15 minutes. Uh, and uh, so long games are not liked. Okay. So uh, the scout is a uh, one of them. Mm-hmm. Uh, a scout can be played at uh, fifteen minutes or twenty minutes. Yes. So that's a trend, yeah. a Japanese trend. Yeah. Hmm. It seems that it seems like a lot of it seems like that. I have no um, research to, ba- to base to base this on, but it it seems that um, shorter games. I hear talked about more, uh, it, whatever the home country of the person, it, it seems as if maybe shorter games are becoming a little bit more popular now, but maybe that's, maybe that's just my perception. It may not, may not be based in fact, but, uh, I know, I know the older I get, I certainly, I enjoy quicker games more, um, where, you know, perhaps at the end of the day when I don't have very much time it's a lot easier to get a game like scout to the table than um yeah than like caverna or you know or ark nova or something you know where where it's much 
though I think all three of us have Ark Nova, and that's a fantastic game. We, we, Kevin and I played that together uh, um, a few months ago, and it's, it's wonderful. Also, I play as a hobby gamer. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, not Buddhist. <laughs> <laughs> that's a, a, totally separated. Do you play games with your family? Uh, seldom. Uh, <laughs> when uh, my children uh, uh, young, I, I played uh, with my children, but not now it's just very seldom. Mm. People, my ch uh, children uh, play video games. <laughs> mm. yeah, yeah. So they want to uh, play a board game with me. <laughs> it's pretty. Do you play? Do you play video games? Uh, no, no. So, I want to spend time with uh, friends. Yes. And not alone. Uh, when I I'm alone, I have uh, I have some uh, like Netflix and mm -hmm. yeah, mm -hmm. Amazon Prime. Yeah. yeah so. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's, uh, there's many things uh, to spend alone. Yes, yes. Do you, do you not do very many um, solo board games? Board games just by yourself? Yes, I tried, uh, but I, I'm not uh, accustomed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I, play, I want to play board games with my friends. Yes, yes. <laughs> Always. Yeah. Hmm. I can understand that. And why did you become an abbot? A I said, yeah, temple. Uh, so abbot is a, a temple master. Temple huh? master. Yes. Why? Yeah, Jushu. Yeah. yeah, Jushu. Yes. It's a difficult uh, question, but the answer is uh, I uh, stated before. Like, so I. I was raised in a temple, mm -hmm. so uh, if I don't, I didn't succeed uh, the uh, priest, temple master from my grandfather, mm -hmm. uh, my family uh, must had to uh, go out the temple mm -hmm. and search for a new home. Mm -hmm. So that is a one reason mm -hmm. to uh, to succeed mm -hmm. yeah my, and uh, so uh, i studied yeah, buddhism and indian philosophy in my universe, uh, university and i uh, so i have a, some question what is buddhism as a mm. in buddhist scripture uh, there was a uh, a sentence uh, from from this section from this section uh, Buddhist Buddhism can be understood without practice. Mm. Yeah, mm. practice is necessary. Mm. Uh, so, uh, if I want to know understand Buddhism, I must practice Buddhism. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, that is uh, uh, maybe one reason <laughs> to to be a temple master. Mm -hmm. Now, every day, every day is a practice, I think. Uh, not only meditation, uh, but also talking with parishioners and uh, conducting uh, funerals. That everything is uh, Buddhist practice now, mm -hmm. I think. I love that idea. Thank you for sharing that. Yeah, that scripture of it can only be understood through, through practice. Um, it reminds it reminds me of there's there's a a, a, um, a passage in in uh, in Christian scriptures too in, um, that says uh, that says uh, faith without works is dead. But you know, but it, I think it, it's it's somewhat of a similar idea that you know we can say, oh, I believe this or I believe that, but if it doesn't if you don't live it out in in how you how you practice and how you behave and how you live then it's not really then then it's not really real 
I, I, it reminds me of Ola et la Bola. Oh, yes. Yeah. Another good game. Another, right. Right. Yes. <laughs> yes. another good I game. Rosenberg's. Yes. Yeah, Rosenberg's game. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yes. Yeah, yes. Yeah, yeah. That's great. I translate it. Yeah, the rule book. Oh. Yeah. I, oh, oh, wow. yes. Are there any designers that are especially hard to translate? Yeah, use Rosenberg's works. Uh, I usually translate it in Jap into Japanese. Indeed. Indeed. <laughs> he has long rule books. Yes, yes. <laughs> Longer than Scout. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you said this you said this beautiful idea of how everything is kind of Buddhist practice. You know, everything can be Buddhist practice. And do you see a way that do you see a way that when you play board games with your friends, is there some sort of does that inform is that Buddhist practice in a in a way as well? For me, uh, board games are only a hobby. And I have never associated with them with Buddhism, uh, but I came up with uh, this idea by chance because I have been frequently asked uh, more and more by TV stations and magazines what is the relationship <laughs> board games <laughs> and Buddhism. <laughs> yeah. and so I, I never thought, <laughs> but I, I, I tried. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, there are two main types of Buddhism. Mahayana Buddhism, which is transmitted from the north, Tibet, China, Korea, and to Japan. And Theravada Buddhism, which is transmitted from the south countries, Sri Lanka and southeast countries. Japanese Buddhism belongs to Mahayana Buddhism and has given priority to the salvation of others rather than the per perfection of own practice. Mm -hmm. Same Buddhism, uh, to which I belong, at first glance appears to be a meditation practice for the sake of own practice, but even in meditation, compassion uh, should be an important motivation. Yeah, uh, We uh, meditate uh, for the sake of others. Yes? Mm -hmm. uh, I believe it is possible to position board games as a practice of compassion. Mm -hmm. In fact, we live our lives with various worries and sufferings on a daily basis. In the social activity of board games, uh, such worries and such worries and sufferings are naturally relieved, and instead a sense of fulfillment and the joy is created. Mm -hmm. uh, removing worries and suffering and giving happiness is a, a, a practice, a kind of therapy. That's a great answer. Thank you so much. I love that. I love that. It lifts yeah. our burdens. Yes. Yeah. And it's for others, this, this practice for, for, for the benefit of others. And Oh, that's wonderful. Thank you. Thank you. And that's interesting that you've been asked that question more and more. People have been asking you that question, TV stations and magazines. Excellent. Well, thank you. I know you need to get to a um, yes. funeral. So we'll, we will thank you very much for your time. Um, yeah. Anything else you want to share or ask? Uh, so uh, so uh, usually I load um, my board games article on my website table games in the world, uh, in Japanese, uh, but you may uh, translate uh, Google tran using mm -hmm. Google Translate uh, to read the Japanese board game situation, yeah, if you are uh, interested. That'd be great. We'll get a link and we'll share that link. It was very, I, that. I went there and used Google Translate to, 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 to read some of it. It was very interesting. Yeah. Thank Amazing. you. Amazing. Yeah. Um, and you are on Board Game Geek as well, I believe, Ono-san. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> if people, I think, just look up your name on Board Game Geek, uh, Takuya Ono, um, that that you can they can find you on Board Game Geek as well. Board Game uh, Priest. <laughs> Board Game Priest. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's okay. That's great. Okay. Well, this has been delightful. Thank you so much, Ono-san. We appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. Uh, yes. And Kevin, anything else from you? No, we just 
well, uh, thanks to our listeners and check us out. We are on Instagram. Look for us. In fact, we have a special competition inspired by Onosan. The picture where you were seated in your, I guess, temple with your games around you, that photo. We're going to try to do that too. We're going to ask a our similar listeners. photo. Yep. Yeah. Yep. So watch for that listeners and um, on our social media and that will be great. I'm looking forward to that. Thank you very much. Well, great. Thank you so much, Ono-san. So much. Yeah, welcome. I had a, a very good time with you. And uh, if uh, so, if you need it, please uh, call again. I would That's love, excellent. we would love to talk well, with you, you again. And maybe someday we can all get together and play Scout and Ark Nova. Please. That would be great. <laughs> that would be great. Much call or love later, please pray. Yeah. Please pray. That would be great. Excellent. All right. Well, thank you all so much. Um, and we will... We'll see you all next time.